What's coming from the Audacity to Podcast in 2016? Welcome to the Audacity to Podcast, episode 251. Thank you for joining me for the Audacity to Podcast. I'm Daniel J. Lewis, and this is the award-winning in-depth podcast about podcasting. It's where I give you the guts and teach you the tools to launch or improve your own podcast for sharing your passions and finding success. A lot is happening in the podcasting space, and a lot is happening with my own business. The Audacity to Podcast is not only the name of my podcast, but it's also essentially my business in the content I create, the services that I offer, the ways that I seek to help podcasters launch or improve their own podcasts. That's the mission with my business, is to help you share your message with the world through the power of podcasting. And that is making products and solutions, maybe helping you with certain issues or training you, and providing the audacity to podcast the show for free to you. And then there are other services and products I offer. So I want to give you a little peek behind the scenes and what I'm planning to do with the show and with the business attached to the show in the upcoming year. If you want to follow along in the show notes, please visit the audacity to podcast.com slash coming 2016. First is my top priority for the Audacity to Podcast and for the upcoming year, and I hope really for many years to come, my number one priority is now Podcaster Society. This is the exclusive community for podcasters to receive uh, information about everything they need after episode one. It's helping them to improve and grow their shows. And Podcaster Society is my primary podcasting and business focus in the coming year. I'll be creating more tutorials, more tools, and more resources exclusive to Podcaster Society in the upcoming year, and I'm excited about that. I love the group that we have in Podcaster Society right now, and I love networking with them, talking with them, and there are new things coming for Podcaster Society in the near future too, as well as later in the year and in the coming years as well. There's a growth plan to it, and We haven't even scratched the surface yet for where Podcaster Society is going, but I would love to see you part of Podcaster Society, and you can sign up at podcastersociety.com when the registration is open. Now, with saying yes to one thing, Podcaster Society, something I'm really excited about, and it's my new top priority, that means I need to say no to several other things that are no longer the top priority, and that maybe there's not even an opportunity to do these other things. So... I need to officially say here, because I've said it several times in direct correspondence, but I want you to know I no longer personally offer design services or podcast setup services. Yes, I can do one-on-one consulting and I'll continue to do that, but I won't design podcast cover art or design websites or set up websites for podcasting anymore. I now refer that out to some people that I trust to do that kind of stuff and have done really high quality, really good jobs of what they're doing. So if you need to be connected with someone to get some design for your podcast or a website set up for your podcast, you can still contact me, but I'll be referring you to someone else. I no longer offer those services myself. And that's so I can say yes to Podcaster Society and make Podcaster Society my number one priority. I will continue to offer RSS repair services, as well as one-on-one consulting and some group consulting But the rates for those services are also going up to match the increased value. I really hope that you can join Podcaster Society. I would love to see you inside of it and be able to then share all of these new things that are coming in Podcaster Society with you. So if you're interested, check out podcastersociety.com. But if you have other needs in podcasting, It's okay if you still want to contact me, I just may end up connecting you with someone else so that I can maintain my focus on the exclusive community I'm building inside of Podcaster Society because I want those people to be my top business priorities and personal priorities with the Audacity to Podcast. The second thing coming in 2016 for the Audacity to Podcast is more from my podcast reviews. 
MyPodcastReviews.com is the service that gets your international podcast reviews and delivers them to you automatically on a regular basis. There are nearly 1,000 podcasters using this service now. They're not all paying members. There is a free plan as well as a paid plan. I'd love to see everyone switch over to the paid plan because then if they did that, then I could include a lot more features and a lot more development with that. But this is the first and best online service of its kind. And what's funny is it even now has copycats, other companies coming in and trying to do something similar. But my podcast reviews uh, still has a lot more coming to it. And in fact, this coming year, actually not just this coming year, but this very month when I'm releasing this episode, I'm testing the next updates that will come to my podcast reviews. And we have a roadmap as well that we'll be following with my podcast reviews to continue to improve that this year. And it is a big focus for me because I think it really meets a need that people have. They want to be able to see their reviews and there will be a lot of new features coming to my podcast reviews that will make it faster, easier, and offer great intuitive new features that no one else is offering And no one else would even think of, but I think once you get access to these new features, you'll realize, whoa, this is really cool. To give you a peek at something is to realize that iTunes and Stitcher aren't the only places now where you can write reviews for podcasts. There are other places too, and they're going to be supported by My Podcast Reviews. So if you'd like to join My Podcast Reviews, that's at mypodcastreviews.com. It's very inexpensive to join. If you have a commercial-based podcast, then it is important for you to join as a premium member. But there is a free plan if you have a personal podcast that you're not monetizing in any way. And there are still great features to come. And that is a big priority for me this year. I've changed certain development workflows and such to be able to focus more on my podcast reviews and ensure that each new feature is fully tested and we'll be asking the users too for their feedback and what they would like to see added to the service i'm excited about what's coming but i can't tell you yet it'll be a surprise but it is coming in 2016 and many new updates are actually coming in early 2016 as soon as we finish the testing stage for some of these nice updates Another priority for me is with the Audacity to Podcast as a show, a weekly show, there's only so much I can fit into individual episodes. And then across several episodes, yes, I can do mini series and I've done those before, but they can be hard to communicate some information really thoroughly and as in depth as I'd like to. And that's where courses come in. These are premium courses. And right now I have one course and that is SEO for podcasters. That's as of the end of 2015, and SEO for podcasters was extremely well received. There is nothing else in the space like this. Yes, there are plenty of other places talking about SEO, search engine optimization, but no one is really talking about search engine optimization for podcasters because there are different things that podcasters need to be aware of and extra tools and features and uh, abilities that we get by being podcasters that regular bloggers and website owners don't get extra SEO stuff. And the search engine optimization field is regularly changing. So I made that complete course that is a lot of great and very valuable content that really helps you to improve the way you create your content. It's not only about being more findable. It's about growing your podcast and making your podcast better for the people who do find you. And that was really well received. And that's one course. That's a very advanced course as well. But in 2016, I'll be making more intermediate courses to help starting and existing podcasters. The beginner and intermediate courses will be available first and for free to Podcaster Society Gold members. So if you want to get early access to these courses, make sure that you join Podcaster Society as a gold annual member. But these courses will also be available for pre-order and purchase outside of Podcaster Society. And if you're a Podcaster Society Silver member, then you do get a discount on these intermediate and beginner courses. So what courses am I thinking of making? Well, what I'm preparing for are, here's only a little preview of what's coming, how to use a mixer. And this is not only how do you do mix minus, this is all about how to use a mixer. So it's not simply saying, plug this in, plug this in, plug this in, and now you have a mix minus, but it's really teaching you how 
to use a mixer so that you can learn how to use your mixer. You could know how to use a different mixer. You could upgrade to a bigger mixer and know how to use it. You wouldn't have to learn all over again, but it will be a complete course on how to use a mixer for podcasting. I'm really looking forward to that, teaching you all kinds of things and the theory behind it. And so you can understand, not simply know, plug this in, plug this in, and something is supposed to happen. But you could diagnose if there's a problem or figure out how to take the best advantage of a mixer that you have. I'm also going to create a how to podcast course. The reason for this, and I know there are many how to podcast courses and tutorials and such out there, but I don't feel 100% comfortable linking to any of them in particular because each of them does something different from what I would do. There are certain recommendations. Some of them are very archaic and very broken recommendations. Some of them are just not the best recommendations. Some of them are very boxed in or some of them simply I just prefer something different. So I really want to have something that I can recommend people to go to as a complete how to podcast course and material and how to learn how to start And I'll be making that in 2016. I'm really looking forward to that. And there might be some partnership going into that as well. So keep an eye out for that. I'm also planning to make several tool-specific miniature courses for certain kinds of tools. Maybe it's, for example, the mixer is one of them. But there might also be a course about how to use a specific software program or how to take advantage of a certain tool and how to use every aspect of that tool to help you with your podcast. Those will be coming in 2016 and beyond. And remember, Podcaster Society Gold members get access to these courses first and for free. But if you're a Podcaster Society Silver member and you're not ready to upgrade to the Gold membership, and the main difference is monthly is silver, yearly is gold. If you're not ready to upgrade to a yearly membership, then you'll still have the option to buy these courses at a discount because you're a member of Podcaster Society. Those are the three main focuses for the Audacity to Podcast and my business in the upcoming year. Podcaster Society, my podcast reviews, and courses that I'll be creating. But I do have some other things that will be coming from the Audacity to Podcast and some things that I'm hoping to do differently in the coming year for this podcast The first of those is a new studio. I'm already in a newer studio. You may remember in summer of 2015, I announced plans to move to Arizona, but that didn't quite pan out the way I'd planned. And my wife and I spent a lot of time praying and thinking about it and decided that it's best for us to stay in the greater Cincinnati area. And we have many reasons for that. So we are going to stay in this area. But that does mean that we still need to sell our house and switch to a house that works better for us. We're not upgrading or downgrading. We're really just cross-grading to a house that works better for us. And one of the ways that it will work better for us is that I'll be building a new studio at that new house. Right now, I'm leasing office space at a local office complex, and that has been wonderful for me. This would be Studio D in my process of everything. And I love having dedicated office space. When I was working from inside my home, I did have dedicated space for me, but it wasn't very flexible. It had a low ceiling. It was in my house. There wasn't a door to the office, but even if there was a door, there would still be times where I'd have to inconvenience others in the house in order to continue recording my podcast or doing videos and such. And setting up gear was difficult and I couldn't leave things set up, especially while we're trying to sell a house and having showings come over, I'd have to tear down all the equipment and put it back up again. And it just wasn't ideal for me. I know that many of you are recording in your homes and that's fine and totally nothing wrong with that. Actually, my house is a much better recording environment than my office because my house is quieter than my office. My office space has this low frequency hum that vibrates through the entire building. And then there's traffic noise and people sometimes in the hallways. But for what I want to do with my business and how I use the podcast with my business, it made absolute sense to move out to get my own office. And that's in the meantime, until we buy the right house and start building a studio. Now I know what you're probably thinking. Yes, I will be documenting the process of building the new studio, taking you along with me in the journey of what are my decisions that go into this? How am I going to use this space? 
And I know that it might not be something you can 100% apply to your particular case because you're probably not going to be digging a hole in the backyard for your new studio or pouring concrete or that kind of thing. But there will be things that you'll get to learn from it and maybe apply if you ever get the chance to change something about your studio. And I know we all have that kind of uh, voyeuristic approach to podcasting that we always want to know, hey, what microphone are you using? Or, hey, how'd you set that up? Or I'm just curious, what are you doing there? So I'll be sharing much of that with you. And that will be coming in 2016, I hope, as long as finances and housing and moving and all of that works out okay. Also in 2016, I want to try something radically different to me for the Audacity to podcast, but it might not seem that different to you in how you hear the episodes. That is that I want to try batch producing episodes. With the Audacity to podcast, I put a lot of time into the planning for each particular episode. It's part of my weekly schedule. Mondays starting at 11 a.m., I prepare for the Audacity to podcast. I've already chosen my topic, so I finish writing my show notes, gathering my resources, doing more research or testing that I need to do. And then at 2 o'clock on that Monday, I go live at theaudacitytopodcast.com slash live to record the episode. And when I'm finished recording, then I upload it to Dropbox for my editor to then edit the episode, any kind of little glitches here or there, or just trim it up a little bit more nicely and smooth things out, volumes and all of that kind of stuff. And then I publish it the following morning. So I do spend a lot of time on an individual episode with the planning and preparation for that episode. And that's a lot of time on a weekly basis. What I'm planning to test for my particular approach to things, is in 2016 to try batch producing episodes. This would be where I would maybe pick an entire day and all that I do on that day is prepare and record episodes for the Audacity to Podcast. Probably four to five episodes at a time, so that would put me a month ahead of my publishing schedule. The main reason for my wanting to try this is because... I want more freedom with time in other areas. Since Podcaster Society is a major focus for me, I want more freedom to focus on that and produce more for that. So I'll also be batching stuff that I do for Podcaster Society, like recording videos and tutorials and creating products and services exclusive to Podcaster Society. And for the Audacity to Podcast, I would like to batch that too. I know many people praise batching and they say that they couldn't get anything done if they didn't batch. And I understand all the benefits of batching. There is some of that to consider for me as well. But I'm also interested in what it can do for my content if I'm batching it. So I could make a mini series, for example, or maybe it would be easier to have a month that the theme for a month is a particular thing. And then the four to five episodes that I publish in that month all fit that particular theme. And it would be easier for me to stick to that theme if I'm batching my preparation and production of those episodes. It wouldn't be like part one, part two, part three. I do not like splitting episodes into parts, but it would be more like this aspect of this theme, that aspect. Here's a different aspect, something like that. For example, maybe email with your podcast. I could have an episode that's about how to get started with your email list, another episode about what to send your email list, another episode about how to monetize your podcast and your email list, and on and on like that. It could be approaching the same theme from multiple aspects for an entire month, and that might be easier with batching. It's something that I'm going to experiment with. I certainly can't batch produce my other podcasts like especially my Once Upon a Time podcast, because that content is handed to me very slowly as the TV show airs. But I'm interested to see how this works for the Audacity to podcast. I might try this for a couple months and decide this simply doesn't work for me because of my particular workflow or my particular approach to the content. But it is something I'm going to give a legitimate try in 2016. Also in 2016, something that will be a big focus for me And something I'm looking forward to is not directly related to the Audacity to Podcast, but it is to my podcast network, Noodle Mix Network. In January 2016, we are launching a new podcast on the network, and I'm really excited about this Christian-focused podcast that will be coming to the network from 
author Mary Demuth. I'm really excited about that. It might even be launched by the time that you're hearing this. So you'll be able to find more at noodle.mx. But also in this year, I'm planning on doing some rebranding, major rebranding for the network. Like so much rebranding that the domain will change. The think, laugh, succeed that I say all the time for the network will change. And what kinds of shows that we bring into the network or launch in the network might also change a little bit too in 2016. I'm always keeping my eye open for podcasts to join the network. And I might open that even more in 2016 that for clean podcasts that fit with our new focus, they'll have a way that they can apply to be considered for the podcast network. And if you're already thinking, oh yes, I definitely want in on that. Let me just give you a little, one little hint is I do require that you have around at least 500 downloads per episode before considering joining the network because that gives us the leverage we need in order to grow the podcast further. I need to make sure that it makes sense for the network and there are a few exceptions that can be made to that but that's something to focus on if you are interested in it but otherwise keep an eye open for when I start taking requests to join the network or when that whole rebranding takes place. That rebranding will also spill over into all of the other podcasts on the network with some website redesigns and some restructuring of several things across the network. So it's a lot of stuff coming for the Audacity podcast in 2016, both from the business side of things. And the Audacity podcast is my business. I don't have a job elsewhere. My job, my business is helping you, helping podcasters to start or improve their podcasts. That's what the Audacity to Podcast is about. That's what my business is about. And I am very honored that God has blessed my business, uh, very abundantly blessed my business in 2015. I reached a goal that I had set in early 2015, and I reached that goal, uh, even surpassed that goal in 2015. I'm not sure if I'll try for that same goal in 2016, But I'll be talking more about how I reached that goal in upcoming episodes and what that goal was. And especially in podcaster society, I'll be breaking that down in a lot more detail there. But I'll be sharing uh, some information for you that can inspire you and show you that if you've been with me on this journey since the beginning when I launched the Audacity to Podcast in 2010, then you can understand that after five or six years of work, it's finally starting to pay off in the way that I've wanted it to. So some fun stuff coming for the Audacity podcast in 2016. I'd love your thoughts on this stuff. Please comment on the show notes at theaudacitypodcast.com slash coming 2016. Or if there's some feedback that you'd like to send me personally and privately, then you can contact me through the website and all of the contact information is there at theaudacitypodcast.com. Dot com. Make sure that you keep an eye on my video channels in iTunes and on YouTube as I'll continue publishing content from CES 2016 and the cool technologies that I found and services that I think would interest you as a podcaster and maybe even feed that inner geek that you have inside of you. You know you have that little geek inside you that's interested in these things. And keep an eye on tpn.tv as we continue to publish all kinds of stuff from CES 2016. But you can get the links to subscribe to my video channel in iTunes and on YouTube by going to theaudacitypodcast.com. I am excited about 2016 and eager to see what the future holds for my podcast, my business, and how I can help you. So please contact me if you need that help through the website at theaudacitypodcast.com. Now that I've given you some of the guts and taught you some of the tools, It's time for you to go launch or improve your own podcast for sharing your passions and finding success. I'm Daniel J. Lewis from theaudacitypodcast.com. Thanks for listening. The Audacity to Podcast is a proud member of Noodle Mix Network. Find more of our award-winning and award-nominated podcasts to make you think, laugh, and succeed at noodle.mx. The Audacity to Podcast is also a proud member